All right, man, so your name's Peter, yeah. right? Cool. The guy in Bible who had a foot-shaped mouth. I like him, yeah. So, <laughs> so we're going to um, we're gonna play a game. It's called the Golden Rule Game, invented by school psychologist Izzy Kalman. Uh, you're going to call me an idiot. Do you think you can do that? They think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good fun. All right, uh, don't worry about hurting my feelings. I wrote a best-selling book on resilience. I'm good. Uh, so you're going to be mean. You can make fun of my high forehead, my pointy nose, my ugly clothes, my stupid teaching, whatever. You be mean, and I'm going to try to stop you. And if I stop you from being mean, I win. But if I can't stop you and you keep being mean to me, can't you win. No, 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 don't give up. Right? Do, when you play games, do you play to win or to lose? Usually to lose. <laughs> Let's go. Ask, uh, he's the head girls basketball coach. Yeah. <laughs> and he fired me as the JV girls oh, coach because yeah, yeah. I, I don't win enough games. Right, so. right. Uh, yeah, was, sounds like some issues between y'all. <laughs> well, this game will be perfect. So you call me an idiot. I'm going to try to get you to stop being mean, okay? You'll be fine. On the count of three, everyone say action. One, two, three. Just call me an idiot. You're an idiot. What did you call me? An idiot. That hurts my feelings. Well, idiots have poor feelings and can't relate to... I am not an idiot. Well, unfortunately, we took a poll. We decided you're an idiot. Everyone thinks I'm an idiot? Well, there was one who didn't, you know. But even your mom voted that you were an idiot. What? You don't talk about my mother. Well, actually, we talk with each other all the time, and all she's telling me is that you're an idiot. I will windmill kick you in the face if you make fun of me one more time. Well, uh, you better kick me, because here it comes. You're no, idiot. wait! I'm going to get you in trouble. Uh, the principal knows my cell phone number, so you know I'm there all the time. That's no problem. Well, you have no right calling me an idiot. Well, you're, you're an idiot. Well, you're an idiot. I hate you. Well, good. That's, they, they obviously hate me, too. So I, <laughs> I've got that resilience. So. I can't stop him. Give me a big hand clap. That was great. Yeah, that was good. All right. All right, Peter, good job. I tried to stop you. I couldn't. Um, uh, I'm going to play one more time. Do you think I can force you to stop being mean? Sure. You think so? Because I'm a professional. <laughs> I've done this over a thousand times. And never lost. So, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's try it. Same rules, dude. You be mean to me, and I'll try to stop you. But don't let me stop you. But I will. On the count of three, say action. One, two, three. Action. You're an idiot. How long do we have to have this conversation? <laughs> I'm a little slow, as you well, know. Well, obviously. I've been yeah. telling you that. You're so smart. I wish I had a brain like yours, man. Well, thank you. I, really, you know, I am smart. And you so you should accept the fact that you're an idiot. You're hearing it from me. You are the authority. Well, thank you. All right. So let's just agree you're an idiot. I agree. Okay. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Good. Yeah. If you want to call me an idiot and it makes you happy, call me an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> Are you happy? No, I'm not happy. <laughs> um, is there anything I can do to be smarter? Probably not. Probably not. No. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot. You know, my mom says my father's an idiot. We come from a village of idiots. So. I'd agree. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you can hate me if you want. It's no big deal. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. See you, pal. <laughs> I want to give me a big hand clap. That was awesome. Okay, two questions. I'll let you go. Two questions. All right. So uh, we played twice the first time. And let's do the octopus. Bump my chest. Ooh. All right. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> Are you okay? All right. Uh, we played twice. The first. Uh-oh. It's, it's, uh, it's a diabetic. Uh, okay, so, so the first time we played, you were mean to me, and I was mean back. And I tried to stop you. I couldn't. The second time, you were mean to me, and I didn't get upset. I treated you like a friend, and I stopped you. Which time would you, did you have more fun, the first time or the second time? I didn't really have fun either time. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, because uh, you're a saint and you're perfect uh, and you're never mean. Uh, which, which time were they laughing probably more, I guess? Uh, which time do you, was, which time, okay. The, the first, first time. Yeah, clearly. Okay, you little rascal. Um, who looked like a bigger idiot the first time when you were mean to me and I was getting upset? Who looked like the bigger idiot? I was probably pretty equal, I would say. I mean, yeah. You know. Well, who looked like they were losing? Well, you looked like Yeah, so I looked like a loser, 
and you were, and, uh, the second time we played, I didn't get upset. I treated you like a friend. Who looked like uh, the idiot? Me. You did. Yeah. And did you feel like an idiot? Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I have that feeling a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but the first time, you probably didn't feel like an idiot, right? Because I was getting upset and it was working. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually fun and there's a payoff. So that's what it is. A bullying is an imbalance of power when someone can hurt your feelings. And if they hurt your feelings, they get pleasure from inflicting pain. You look like a loser, they look <coughs> like a winner. And if they're winning the game, they want to do it over and over and over again. That's why they say relentless teasing and taunting is a good definition for bullying, because it happens day in and day out. And the reason why kids are bullied is not because they're fat, skinny, tall, short, glasses, asthmatic, allergies. It's none of those things. There's only one reason why kids get bullied, because they get upset. And kids do what works, and they play games that work. So if you're getting upset, you're losing, and the more upset you get, and the more you try to get them in trouble, the more they dominate you. But the moment we teach kids, hey, don't get upset, then the power imbalance is completely corrected. There's true equilibrium within the power differentiation. And the bully actually starts to feel like a loser. And then this kid that was once a victim grows in self-confidence, self-esteem, self-worth. They learn a social skill. This is how I should treat all my enemies. Don't get upset and be nice to them, even though they don't deserve it just like Jesus taught. And it kills him with kindness, as Grandma taught. Good job. You did fantastic. Thank you, buddy. Very brave. <laughs>